Jane, let's jump to you. Let's uh, have a look at the clearance rates and see what's happening around the country. Mm. This week, nationally, we're sitting at the national option clearance rate sitting at 78.2%, which is a huge increase from the same time last year. I think it was about 20%. It's about 20% higher. So, I still believe that the market um, has some room to move, um, and I think we'll probably see that in the coming few weeks. It's interesting. Um, last year, we thought that the market was in a boom time, but if you actually compare right now to the later, la uh, the later part of last year, um, we're actually sitting in a better position. Sydney boom time clearance rates at 87.6, Melbourne 79% and Canberra also still performing well at 65.7%. So, very healthy. Um, Tom mentioned about the uh, houses on the market and he wasn't too mm. confident there's much coming on. Have you got some different numbers or can you, can you give <laughs> um, us some hope? Well, this week is the second week in a row where we have seen more properties coming onto the market, which is a great thing. Um, in comparison to the last six, several weeks, um, it definitely has been a decrease. So this week we're up 0.39%, but the stock levels are still low in comparison to the exact same time last year. Uh, in New Zealand this week, the total listings have dropped 1.3% nationwide, except for the Nelson and Tasman region, um, which we did see an increase, but it was very, very min minimal. Um, New listings coming onto the market, though, are up 6.1% in New Zealand. So they're doing reasonably okay. Now, obviously, um, rates have come down recently, so people are getting more cash positive all the time. What's happening with the rents? Um, Victoria is down one point, uh, sorry, 2.1%, and WA down 0.2%. Um, but the national average this week is much the same as last week. It's down 0.24%. Uh, and then, very finally, the vacancy rates. Uh, this week, performing exceptionally well, as always, well, in recent times, Sydney, 0.99%, Vic hovering at 3.9%, and WA is still in that danger zone, 5.3%, and I think this is like the third time I've been on this show and said this, but for those WA landlords, it's probably a really good time to look at their um, rental structure and I guess take a look and either negotiate with their tenant to try and secure them um, because I don't think anyone wants to be losing a tenant in, around now in WA. And this is when it comes down to finding the right agent for the property because you go for the cheapest agent, that's when you're going to end up in trouble. Of course. So, wonderful. Well, Jane Wilkinson from Century 29, good to see you. Lou Christopher, welcome on the show. And uh, we'll definitely have you again, especially when you give us these positive numbers and the capital growth. <laughs> There'll be a lot of happy people around Australia looking at your numbers.